Hi, this is uh, Shambles Guru, Chris Smith in North Thailand. It's late, it's midnight on a Tuesday and uh, I'm attending one of my uh, favorite weekly uh, meetings, which is in Second Life normally, a, a group called Tools Jam. But, let me change this, today we're on a field trip and we're in a new different world called um, 3D spot on. In fact, let me just go back and show you the the website for them. Here we go, spot on 3D. And so this is where you come for more information uh, about about it. This is uh, I'm just going to uh, pause it and switch it on at a certain points. So it might be a bit jerky, um, but we'll see. I've just arrived here and uh, the tools jam people have as well we haven't come from second life we've lo logged in through a let me just show you through a special uh, spot on 3d browser which if you know second life you'll recognize it from uh, uh, earlier second life browsers many many of the controls look very similar so this is because we do things turn on the voice um, so differently on the back end and uh, but this is for everyone who comes to help us we give them a free house and a little bit of land it's on, but that's mainly to get people away from the chaos of the entry point and so they can do one-on-one -on -one, um, help with them. If your voice has gone off, um, you'll need to open up edit. If your voice has turned off during the TPing, you'll need to cycle through the Disable, close menu, and enable steps to initiate it again. <laughs> I think I'm going to Please pause it me. and come back uh, <laughs> when we sort of move around or at uh, pertinent points. We give them these houses so that when things get a little chaotic, they can pull the people aside and help them focus again on what their problem is because we found in SL that big general area really was very congested, confusing, and just very chaotic. And this is where we, we uh, have them uh, pull them away into their little houses and say, how can I help you? So that's why we give them little houses. Plus, it's, it's a nice way to say thank you. Um, our general area has a marketplace. Come over here. No more required for life. <laughs> That's all we need is his favorite beer. Okay, prices are we have a, a land rush special right now. $39.99 for five KSM per month. And fifty nine ninety nine for fifteen KSM per month. And that's for the first 100 regions rented. After that, they go up to $59.99 and $74.99, respectively. This is a light use grid. Uh, region price and I'll, I'll explain that after she gets done and that means that it's anywhere from 1 to 15 people per sim now this isn't something we like make you do we it's an honor system you know, be nice to your neighbor. Um, if you need more headspace, you can turn on your cloud. Every region has the ability to turn on Boost Cloud for $4.99 an hour, and they can host up to 100 people. One thing to uh, check, we're not going to get all of the, uh, we're not going to record all of this straight. 
that this chat here, if you could so stop the video, of paying you can... instead paying $300 a month for something you may only need the power of twice a month, you pay for it as needed. The best thing to do is to go to the website and pick up the latest prices there. If you there. have a SEM that needs a regular steady case of, you know, that, that numbers, we do have dedicated cloud servers that run anywhere from 100 to $200 a month. Depending upon what your need is. We're applied them in the way we're doing it. So it's it's we want your pricing to be dependable. So the idea isn't to give you a surprise bill. Yeah, you, thank you. So we get we we can make custom server arrangements for you. This is just the range of what we have to offer. <laughs> We have a lot of flexibility in, in the cloud or traditional dedicated servers. Because it doesn't have it in it. That's why. Ah, that would be why. Okay, I'll TP you all. Now am I very embarrassed? Yes, I am. <clears throat> One of those little details. <laughs> okay, cancel, cancel, cancel. Okay, I'm going to TP you all in a sec. Let me just get out from underneath this canopy so I could double click. Oh, I'm sorry. I moved people like bowling pins. I'm so sorry. Okay. Ta da. Except. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yes, TP will be offered instead. Thank you. Uh, we're going across the bridge over here. Maybe I should just TP y'all here and let you walk across because I think y'all will enjoy knowing, experiencing what a grid crossing will be. Oh, we've never tried this with this many people. This should be interesting. Okay, um, let's see. Let me teleport everyone. Can y'all see me over here? Come over to this big old bridge over here. See agile teleport and teleport. You on teleport. EJ is here. Ellie teleport. Gemini teleport. Jen teleport. <laughs> Leon teleport. Uh, I'll see if. Oh no no no! I didn't want Lee. <laughs> Okay, at least part of my team. <laughs> I just teleported here. Just gonna say what? What? Okay. I wonder where we should be going. Okay. I'm, I'm lost. I'm I think it's one. I don't. The rest are gonna. I don't have them on my friends list. So hopefully everybody's here. Okay. Across this bridge is our learning paths, and this is kind of in works in conjunction with our pathfinders. And the reason I want you to walk uh, across the bridge is to see how. Here we are. Uh, region crossings work. Um, it's a slight stutter. If you feel the stutter stop, count to two seconds and then walk again because that will be you uh, crossing over. We're getting a bit of banding because there's so many people, which is pretty normal. But you will not fall through the bridge. You will not get wet. You will not fall. You will just simply stutter and then continue to walk. So this is working across Sims. Uh, which is that basically the two, two um, land masses which are on different uh, computers normally. And this happens in Second Life as well. Things usually sometimes go weird. But this is encouraging so far. Hey, oh, there's a little bit of, you can see there's a little bit of lag there. A bit of a jump back. That wasn't too bad, uh, except sometimes what happens is when you take your fingers off the cursor keys, you just keep work working, walking. Oh, you can see what's happened to me there. What's the outcome of this? The plot thickens. Ah, it looks like. Have I hung? It looks like 
No, I've not hung. I think I'm now successfully. I remember you're going to stutter a little bit at the top of that bridge. I don't think they can hear me. There you go. Oh, but me. you shouldn't fall. That's it. I've done it. Congratulations. Shake that bum avatar. Yes, we do. Okay, let's have a look around and see what's happening with everybody else. Close this window. Hey, loud. <laughs> Is everybody coming along? As you can see, some weird things happen as people are crossing back up here. <laughs> up here, you can see uh, it looks like some people are, uh, are stuck as they try and get from basically one computer to another. Okay. Voice voice is not spatial at the moment in this environment. In other words, you can hear the so same volume however close you are to the speaker. A region crossing, I should say. And we're listening to the avatar to keep an eye open for. That's the largest number of people. Is Tessa Harrington. We, we've uh, actually crossed over a region, so I, I think that actually went well. Nobody got wet. This is our, our learning pass, and we'll have um, the, air, the ability to TP them directly in the middle, which is where it starts. Um, if you all want to fly into the middle to see it, you can, and just kind of peruse it. I don't think you all are novices, so you probably don't need to go through this, but it's, um, you should see how it works. We've done it sort of like um, a little uh, library, if you will, and it puts them out to... Um, our, our bug zapper, which is, we try to keep it humorous with bugs, because you know what? No matter what, you're going to get bugs. And so we thought, and this was Felonius's idea, he built this big, ugly bug. And he named it the Buggery. <laughs> uh, this is an X-rated uh, machine. And we loved it. And we, we had the name slapped all over it. And we even made a shirt that says, have you been buggered today? Uh, because he's from Australia. So uh, this is a very common term until my business partner, <laughs> <laughs> yes, the attorney, says, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> That's the latest fixes um, and leave messages for our team of encouragement because we really like they really like to hear thank you for fixing that bug or have you thought about this or I would really like to see that maybe improved a little bit more it's just a general communication hub for bugs uh, you can name it Jira <laughs> no. but so I want everybody's feedback just for a second do you think naming this the buggery as opposed to the bug zapper which do you prefer let's just see if we have lip sync I don't think it is is lip sync on the politically correct name or the the slightly tongue-in-cheek repurposed name. <laughs> it's like lip, lip sync I, might not I, be there. I, can you hear me? No, I can't hear you, Devin. Okay. Okay. Okay, we're teleporting up into a cloud. Let's see if it works. Uh, well, the sound effects worked. Uh, here we go. The region you've entered is running a different simulated simulator. Um, one comment just before we landed here, we, I moved here, was that uh, this would host a hundred avatars. Okay, I think I'm going to I'm going to stop here. Actually, you can see what's happened to my avatar. It's gone very sort of a bit like cheese. And it requires a rebake, a rebake, which is one of the menus update. somewhere up here. So uh, I'd have to look around for that. But I'm going to stop now. I hope this uh, is of interest. And have a look at uh, the uh, the Spot On 3D website. Have fun.